Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. At this crucial moment, I step forward to share with you premonitory visions and urgent messages that arise from the depths of my heart, which are part of a prophecy. Listen to me, for what I will reveal to you bears the seal of divine truth and imposes upon you a weight of responsibility. There is a country in South America teetering on the brink of extinction. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles to ensure that as many people as possible see this video. Kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you all. Let us pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the visions I've received from the heavenly vaults, from God himself, I've seen future scenarios of disaster looming over the world with inevitable ferocity. Many countries in South America will be devastated by these climatic events, but it is crucial to maintain faith in God through prayer. Think of earthquakes of unprecedented magnitude shaking the entire continent, swallowing whole cities and indiscriminately dragging human lives into their abysses. Imagine rivers and seas overflowing with their own fury, inundating with tumultuous waves, submerging vast territories, and leaving behind a blanket of sadness and desolation. But one country above all is currently in a state of danger and alert, and that is Mexico. If you live in Mexico or wish for this nation to have God's support, Almighty God have mercy on us. In the comments, how can we prepare ourselves to face unforeseen climate changes? Climate change will take a drastic and unexpected turn. We will face catastrophic events that will strike every corner of the globe. The earth itself will recoil to its core, and entire nations and populations will be wiped out as if they had never existed. In such calamity, humanity will face severe tests. Dark feelings of hatred and revenge will arise. Chaos and destruction will become the norm as men, blinded by the thirst for power, show their worst selves, seeking to dominate and confuse others, resorting to all kinds of deceit and malice. This is what will happen toward the end of this year. In the visions I've had, the land of Mexico has been shown shaking with unprecedented intensity. The earth will split open at various points, leaving deep scars that will evidence the unleashed force of nature. Specifically, the region of Waka will suffer a devastating earthquake, a seismic event that will compel humanity to emerge from its indifference. Buildings, symbols of the traditions and human progress accumulated over centuries, will fall as if they were sand castles, and streets once bustling with life will be enveloped in profound silence. This natural event will act as a wake-up call in a dialogue between heaven and earth. An elderly woman from Waka, whose hands have cultivated the land for decades, will raise her voice to the sky in prayer, Dear Mother, why have you forsaken us? And I will respond, My children, I have not forsaken you. This is a signal to awaken you, an invitation to ponder your actions and change your destiny. Floods and storms, the violence of water. As we move to the waters, my visions have been laden with sadness as I witness the coasts of Veracruz being submerged by violent waves. These floods, caused by storms of extraordinary intensity, represent the earth's pain for the wounds we have inflicted upon it. The waters will inexorably rise, covering homes, crops, and hope. 
coastal communities already tested by life will see their streets turned into overflowing rivers. Fishermen, their eyes fixed on the turbulent horizon, will say, our nets now only catch memories. And I, hearing their pain, will promise, through the storm, you will discover the strength to rebuild and show the world the true meaning of resilience. Fear not, leave your nets, and begin to pray with deep faith. Climate change, a future to rewrite. Finally, my visions focus on climate change, a slow but unstoppable threat that will transform the appearance of our planet. Freezing winters followed by scorching summers will severely test life on Earth, forcing every living being to choose, adapt or disappear. The people of Chapis, seeing their crops destroyed by an unrelenting sun, will wonder if there is still hope. And I, in the breeze that caresses the few remaining stalks, will whisper, in hope lies the strength to overcome even the toughest challenge. Unite, change your habits for yourselves and for future generations. The twilight of existence as we know it is rapidly descending upon us, my dear children. Only those who turn away from their sins, who open their souls to the sweetness of compassion and the warmth of fraternal love, while lighting holy candles in moments of deep prayer and embracing the rosary with unwavering faith, will find refuge and salvation. Your devotion, your modesty, and your acts of piety will act as talismans that will open the heavenly gates. I do not paint this apocalyptic scenario to scare you, but to reveal to you what has been predetermined by fate and is inexorably approaching, inviting you to hold fast to your faith through these sacred practices. It is my responsibility to inform you that these storms are gathering on the horizon. However, beyond the twilight of these revelations shines the light of hope. Destiny is not irrevocably tied to these prophecies. Every man and woman possesses the power to change the course of these disastrous events. I bring you this message as an invitation to reflect deeply, to examine yourselves, and to repent sincerely. What concrete steps can we individually take to promote sincere reflection and repentance? I encourage you to recognize that the path to avoiding the precipice is illuminated by decisions based on conscience, empathy, and the will to act rightly. We are called to unite in a collective effort to change direction, embracing the values of peace, solidarity, and love for others and for our wounded planet. The fate of humanity and the world we call home is in our hands. Our beloved Earth, by the will of God from whom all forms of life arise, cries out in anguish. How can we better listen to the cries of pain from our Earth and act accordingly? Its cries of pain are the echo of human transgressions, of an uninterrupted succession of reckless actions that have obscured the precious gift of existence. Air, water, and land have been contaminated by the poisonous touch of human sins. Rivers and oceans mourn for a beauty now lost, martyred by human indifference. This earth, exhausted and oppressed, struggles in desperation, its spirit broken by the scars left by those who have betrayed it. Such wicked deeds have aroused divine indignation, which now spreads like an uncontrollable fire, a purifying force destined to rid creation of the stains of evil, sparing no one, not even the most innocent souls. If you have come this far, I ask you to comment on your greatest fear so that we can gather more people around a common feeling and discuss it together. Your faith or your skepticism does not change the fact that this prophecy directly involves you. It is up to you both individually and collectively to act to change the course of events. It is essential that each of you opens your heart to compassion, forgiveness, and love, which unite humanity as brothers and sisters. We must overcome all division to prevail the unity among peoples. Listen urgently to what I am about to tell you, there is the possibility of avoiding the prophecy that threatens the earth, but this requires a joint and immediate action on our part. Time is running out, and only by uniting our strengths can we hope to return to normalcy. Imagine yourself on an extremely cold night, just 10 minutes to midnight, when the world will be engulfed in total darkness for three long days. Only those who manage to endure will be saved, including those who, despite having little faith, 
decide at that moment to embrace hope and seek refuge in prayer and light. And these survivors will initiate an era of rebirth. I beg you, keep your doors locked and do not open to strangers, for among them will lurk evil individuals ready to endanger your existence. Only those who listen to and diligently follow my teachings, as well as those who, feeling their faith falter, choose to strengthen it in the darkest moments, can hope to overcome the impending hardships. I will give you valuable advice on how to prepare properly, including how to keep the flame of faith alive. But remember, do not let fear into your hearts. Do not expose yourselves to the visions of destruction that will appear outside your homes. God wants to spare you from the sight of His wrath and the sufferings that will befall the world, even to those whose faith may waver, offering them the chance of redemption and protection. Take this warning seriously and carefully reflect on your actions. The future of humanity depends on the decisions you make, and this includes the decision to strengthen your faith in the face of adversity. This is the warning that comes to you from heaven, preparations, requests for forgiveness, and mutual love are the tools with which we will dignifiedly face the end of this era, maintaining hope. The exact date remains unknown, but the time at our disposal is limited. Only those who believe in divine goodness will find the strength and protection necessary to face the trials that await us. In this dramatic scenario, the end seems inevitable, yet a ray of hope persists for those who choose to listen and change. Salvation is possible, but it requires a collective awakening, a return to the essence of our humanity, the acknowledgement of the wounds inflicted upon our Mother Earth, and an authentic commitment to heal them with acts of love, humility, and compassion. These warning messages I've brought you are not set in stone. How can each of us contribute in everyday life to writing a different future for our planet? The future is in your hands, my beloved children. It is time to listen, repent, and act. The purification I speak of is also a rebirth, an opportunity to rewrite the destiny of humanity with actions guided by love, compassion, and respect for our Mother Earth. If science could offer a definitive solution to climate change that contradicted our deepest religious or ethical beliefs, would we be willing to change them to save the planet? I invite every soul, believer or not, to be part of this movement of change. It is never too late to make a difference. Together, as a united human family, we can face the storms, overcome the earthquakes of the heart and soul, and navigate towards a future of hope and renewal. May these words resonate in every corner of the world, bringing light where there is darkness, hope where there is despair, peace and divine mercy be with you all, now and always. Amen. If these words have touched your heart, write Amen in the comments, give it a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you will find other content and experiences of spiritual growth. Together, we can spread light in the darkness and build a better future. Thank you for listening and sharing this prayer. May peace and divine light always be with you. Amen.